welcome back guys this is day 15 of our series learn sql server in 60 days so uh, in the last video we talk about the store procedure what is store procedure uh, how many way we can create the store procedure and how to pass the parameter to the procedure and how i can call the store procedure okay okay great uh, now in this video i'm going to talk about something more interesting those are having a doubt because uh, in previous version uh, we talk about the view right in previous video we talk about the views so you may find one similar thing here in a store procedure and in a view so now in this video we are going to talk about the difference between difference between store procedure and the view okay okay in this one it's very important to know the difference basically because those are the beginner those are the fresher or those just started their sql training they might have one question that views also contain the stored block of sql statement and i said stored procedure also contain the stored block of a sql statement so what is the difference right and why why i need to have this two if if one can store the SQL statement that is view, then I can use only view. Why should I go for the store procedure? Right? Right. So uh, basically, you know, in, in real time, in whenever we work with uh, any big organization or small organization or whenever we work on a project. So there is a requirement that you just simply need to uh, have this block of a SQL statement. So in such way, in such type of situation, you can go for a view you can go for a store procedure no issue but sometimes there is a requirement that you have a code and you need to perform a multiple operation on a data right for example i am having an order date and i am having an order table in order table i am having order date so if you simply need the order date you can go with a view but sometimes what happened you know based on that order date you need to pass uh, you need to have the data from other table and that table that data comes with a different complicated logic so that all kind of complicated logic you cannot write in a view so but you can write those all logic in a store procedure so let's talk let's let's try to understand don't make it more doubtful and more difficult so difference is in view you can simply write you can simply write this block of a SQL statement but in store procedure you can write a block of a SQL statement uh, so you can perform the calculation and you can do whatever you want you can create the index in a, index in a store procedure right you can create the ct common table expressions and lot more things those things cannot be created in a view you can also you cannot also you cannot also create the table variable in a view so in one line difference View contain only a stored block of SQL statement. A stored procedure contain the stored block of statement along with the along with other things like we can create index on a table, we can create a table, we can create a table variable, we can create a CTE, we can create a transaction, and we can do lot of things. So, if you have a requirement that you want to perform a lot of complicated things, so I will suggest go for a stored procedure. And one more thing, whenever you need, whenever you need to call the view, you, you need to call it only with a from clause, right? But for store procedure, you can't. Store procedure only required to call with the exec. With that, you can run the store procedure, but you can't directly take the output of a store procedure in a table. If you want to do that, what you need to do? You need to do, you need to create first table, and then you need to call the procedure and in, and have the insert statement so whenever the sp will be called that output will get stored into the insert statement of a table right so this is a basic difference and i hope this is very important as a fresher because when i started my career and when i started to learn sql i always have doubt that when these two things we have then why do we have it right which one is good and which one uh, is a bad so when I started to work with my first organization, all those doubts got clear. So I thought it's better to share all those things with you guys right here. Definitely this is not mm, that much useful for the experienced one. But I 
no there are a lot of people those are having doubt about it i hope their doubt got clear great so in this one we talk about the store procedure and the difference of view also uh, in this one i am going to talk about the next thing that is a temporary table so what is temporary table a name itself suggests it's a temporary so based on a session this there are a few tables we can create on demand so there are two kind of temporary table one is local temporary table another is global temp table so whenever you have seen a table with a prefix single hash then that table is called as a local temp local temp table and whenever you have seen double hash that is called as a global temp table so name itself suggests local and the global if it is local if it is if it is only for the one session then we can call it as a local if it is for entire server then it is called as a global sometime it's a requirement to create a table which is accessible to all the user then we need to go for a global uh, temp table and if we simply need to create a table which is only for our business calculation purpose then we need to go for the local so in next video we'll talk about this table in detail also we'll talk about add on thing called as a temporary procedure in the next video hope you like and enjoyed our video regarding the difference between the store procedure and the view and the timetable and thanks for watching have a great day